All right. How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome back. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Hope this is finding everybody healthy and in good spirits. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Thanks again for all your comments and all your thumbs up. I'd like to get in the paper today again, read some more of these uh, weird but true stories that we've been having. Um, crazy things happening here. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. This guy in New Zealand is a real toe jam, all right? In New Zealand. The unidentified 28-year-old was charged Monday with stealing two human toes. He stole two human toes from an exhibit of preserved bodies in New Zealand. So I guess there was an exhibit of uh, some preserved bodies in New Zealand. This guy went in there and took a couple toes. Why? He faced up to seven years in prison. The toes are estimated to be worth $3,815. They were returned to the body world's vital display. All right, a couple questions here. Why do you steal the toes? What are you doing with them? What, what, what is there, a black market for toes? What are you doing? Uh, you got a toe fetish? What's happening here? That first don't make sense. I mean, you know, there's a lot of crazy people out there in the world, you know, nuts, you know, whatever the story may be, but what are you still with toes? What are you going to do with them? What, you just take them home, look at them? What, what do you do, you know? And, and I guess they weren't attached to the body. I mean, I didn't say that either, but imagine they were attached, you had to cut them off. Maybe they were just preserved in a little case. He just stole them. Just, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> My second question here is, how did they get the value of $3,815 for two toes? Where did that come from? What, are they going to the antique road show and bring them in and say, I got two toes. What do you think it's worth? Oh, they were $3,815. Crazy. Who estimates these things? Who checks them out? Why three thousand eight hundred fifteen dollars? Why not three thousand dollars? Why not three thousand eight hundred? Why three thousand eight hundred fifteen dollars? Where'd the fifteen dollars come from? I don't know. It's just weird. Weird. First of all, the guy stole the toes. Second of all, weird is how they freaking got the estimate on this three thousand eight hundred fifteen dollars worth of two toes. All right. Something happened here in, in Massachusetts again. Um, the cops want to know. You know, how, how did the cops know that this was the guy? This guy, 27 years old, was charged with, with being the, the hit-and-run driver who struck a cyclist. He hit, he hit a bicycle guy, okay? And how they figured out it was him that he's the one who hit the guy on the bicycle and took off? Because his car still had the bicycle sticking out of the front grill. <laughs> Unbelievable. Again, you can't make this stuff up. So this guy hits a guy on a bike, keeps on going, he's got the bicycle sticking out of his front grill. Oh, look, I got a new hood ornament, a bicycle. Stupid. Unbelievable. So this guy was charged with drunken driving and other offenses. The cyclist was 56-year-old, suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Well, that just goes to show. Don't drink and drive. He was drunk. He hit this guy. He just kept going. <clears throat> Cops seen him driving down a block with a bicycle sticking out in front of his car and said, that's our guy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Check out what happened to this British woman. <clears throat> this woman in Britain goes into uh, to have some surgery, right? And she went under the knife. And when she woke up, the doctors had given her breast implants. Which I guess would be fine if that's what you went in for. But evidently this woman did not go in there for that. This woman, 44 years old, says doctors at the Great Western Hospital in Wiltshire, England, were supposed to perform a double mastectomy. Mastectomy, I guess. They're supposed to, a double mastectomy. You're supposed to, you know, whatever they do with that. And she, she requested this to be done because the family has a, um, you know, a history of breast cancer. So, you know, she's being, you know, I guess cautious, whatever. And this is an everyday thing, you know. Um, people do this to, to take care of the cancer. 
but instead she claims the professional's boobs, the professional boobs stuff her with large fake breasts without her consent. Where was this mistake making? Was there a clerical error? You, you, you're supposed to get, you know, the stuff taken out to have yourself, you know, free of cancer, to do what you gotta do, preventive maintenance, I guess. And you wake up, you got big boobs. Maybe her husband was happy, but I'm sure she wasn't. She was pretty upset. You're going in for mistake, mistake, mistake of me. I don't know, I can't say some words, but mistake to me. And uh, you wake up with big boobs. God. Now what do they do? I guess they go in there clean everything out again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's almost like the guy that went to the hospital and they were supposed to um, prick his boil. And they wanted to do the opposite. They boiled this prick. I can't believe that. These things happen. You got to be careful. Unbelievable. Anyway. That's crazy. All right. Let's move on to the next one. This one's titled, What a Dope, all right? This guy was 49 years old in Florida. Thought he was sold a batch, a bad batch of meth, methamphetamines, I guess, at the meth. So he says, oh, man, he's got to me a bad batch of meth. I'm going to call the cops. <laughs> man, again, you can't make this stuff up. So he calls the cops. And what do the cops do? They invited him to bring this stuff down so they could check it out for him. And they promptly arrested the guy. I remember reading another story too about that. I got a bad batch of marijuana or something and, and they calls the cops to complain. They arrest him. What a bunch of freaking morons. I, I'm telling you, that's just a stupid shit. You're dealing in bad stuff. You, you, you're messing around big people. You, you're doing shit illegally. You don't call the cops. I mean, come on, man. This is just common sense stupidity. But then again, this is what drugs do to you. It burns your freaking brain out. <clears throat> How about this one? This legal move, maneuver, this legal maneuver was pretty crappy. This guy is 34 years old from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. He was about to be tried for robbery and assault, okay? Pistol whipping somebody. He allegedly sent a letter to the prosecutors, and they thought that it was like a pretrial letter, I guess, to say what he had to say, whatever, so... When they opened it up, they found only fecal matter in there. Now, fecal matter, I guess the guy shit in an envelope and sent it to them. He now faces an additional charge of aggravated harassment. Guy shit in an envelope and sent it to the freaking prosecutors. But how is this possible? Like, how do you, how do you shit in an envelope? How, how do you do that? Unless you shit on the side and just scooped it up and put it in there, but come on, man. Somebody didn't smell that before you open up? Didn't it leak through the freaking envelope? Like sometimes I, I read these stories and weird but true, and it is weird that somebody shit in an envelope and sent somebody. But it's even weirder is how these people actually got it and opened it up, didn't smell it, didn't see, see it seeping out with that. I don't know. So was, they're really stupid then for opening it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get that to somebody with a freaking hazmat outfit on. You don't know what's in there. You got to smell it. Unless this guy shit smells like roses. I don't know. That was crazy. Sent them, sent them an envelope full of crap. Got one more crappy story for you. This one, this one's not since we're on the story of crapping. And again, it, this is crazy. And I'm definitely reading this out of the paper. I'm not making this stuff up. I don't sit around and think about these things just to tell you this is in the paper. Weird but true stories. This guy made a huge stink over road rules. A Pennsylvania man got so angry at an intersection. And he had an argument with another driver. 
that he allegedly, this is their words, okay, I'm going to use their words, allegedly pooped on another driver to get revenge. Allegedly pooped on another driver to get revenge. What does it mean, allegedly? Like, they're not sure if he did it or not. He's being, the, the, the guys just throw shit from his floor on him, say, oh, the guy shit on me. What do you mean, allegedly? This guy was 69 years old who did it. He was charged with harassment for allegedly pulling the crappy move in in this in, the, in in Pennsylvania. Crappy move. Where's all the video cameras where this is going on? Because I would love to have seen how this guy pulled down his pants to crap on another driver. And again, he's crazy for doing it, but you got a guy coming by you and he's pulling down his pants. Move, run, get out of the way. What are you doing? What, do you just stand there and say, okay, get crap on me? That's crazy. Who's the stupid one here? Now, yeah, the 69-year-old guy got arrested. But the guy who got pooped on should be put into a freaking mental hospital, too, for letting it happen to him. Like, how does, how do you let somebody crap on you, poop on you, as they say? Allegedly pooped on another driver. Ah, oh, man, this is crazy. What a bunch of stinky stories, eh? All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. A bunch of poopy stories. <laughs> Dog pee, poopy stories, all kind of crazy stuff. Guys, thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate it. Remember, on the way out, give me that thumbs up. Let me know you're out there. Leave some comments. Let me get back to you. And uh, until next time, take care. And remember, try to eat healthy.